Look at my little boy all grown up. He's still so much shorter than me. It's because your dad was a triceratops, you loser. <laughs> Mama, why aren't I as tall as you? Who's your daddy with some three-horned bastard I picked up outside a bar in Santa Cruz? Yo, what's going on guys? Whoa, I just yelled. Jesus, and my camera's on me. What's going on guys? Riot's here with Play as Dino Arc Aberration with definitely the best update so far. If someone says it's not the best update so far, you get that <laughs> person right out of your life, man. Sorry, I just got out of like a four hour stream and I still have my Twitch potty mouth on me. Alright, so we're gonna go into create a new survivor. Create a new creature! Under Aberration tab, you will see the Reaper Queen and the Reaper King. I don't know why I just did those backwards. Alright, so first we're gonna be going in as the Reaper Queen, because honestly she has the coolest freaking abilities ever. It's mod dev. Fantastic is going above and beyond with this stuff. Dude, this is like crazy right here. Alright, for starters, just while I'm picking out colors, if you guys want to see more plays, dino and stuff, make sure to leave a like on the video, because I think a server-wide thing of this would be so much fun with subscribers. Where, um... <laughs> Did not mean to choose magenta again. <laughs> Don't stream for four hours before arc recordings. You're barely left with any brain cells. You dumb bastard. What the hell kind of weird coloring is that? You know what? I'm with it. It's beautiful and it's random, but I'm with it. All right. So as the queen, obviously, in the game, you know, there's queen. She has the ability to impregnate you and such. Look at this. You can't damage your impregnated creatures players. I didn't even know that part. All right. So basically... You know the queen, she's awesome, she can impregnate a person, and then once the person's impregnated, a uh, chest-bursting larva will bust out of their chest, and the reaper queen, you know, she'll disappear after busting her load, she pretty much only impregnates, and then get out of there, she's like most men. Am I right, ladies? Alright, but this one, obviously, if you're playing as the reaper queen, would be very fun if your thing's gone after you impregnate one creature. No, no, no. Not to mention, you know, the child's, it's not you, how would that even work? Like, you would just be gone from existence. Yeah, space bar puts you underground. I just realized that. That's awesome as hell. Super freaking cool to be able to hide from your enemies and such. Although, as a Reaper Queen, do we even have any? Oh, yeah, Drakes. Drakes are, like, literally natural enemies to Reapers. All right, so we actually are able to impregnate humans and dinosaurs. Creatures, I should say, which is absolutely incredulous. That roar is amazing. All right, I'm not sure exactly the size reference out of these couple raptors right here. I'm sure one of them wouldn't mind. Oh, get back here. Okay, that's my fault. I was clicking X instead of C. Don't be doing that. Oh, oh. Oh, I've got one of the raptors. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. And just like that, I just impregnated a raptor, ladies and gentlemen. Be honest, was that the first time you've ever seen somebody impregnate a raptor? I mean, not another raptor impregnate a raptor, I mean, me, myself. Put that sucker in there, man. Alright, there you have the gestation process. Really cool, you get to watch your creature gestates. And there's my pregnation process. You cannot get another, I mean, it obviously takes a while. I'd probably just start a new Reaper Queen, so I'm gonna go see what creatures we can impregnate and such. This is almighty power I've been given to choose all these creatures around. This makes it so much more special, and now it's like official Xenos. Cause Xenos, those little face hugger bastards could get on anything. Like how the Xeno Crushers came into play. Those things we used to uh, basically destroy a bunch of bases on the Aberration PvP subscriber server. Those things are like when a face hugger gets a hold of a bull, isn't it? And then like the Warriors are when a face hugger gets a hold of a person. Beautiful stuff. Oh, we gotta keep our bar. Uh, uh, no one touches the child. So perfect, you're unable to damage it too. So you literally just keep him alive. I need you for gestation, little buddy. This is horrifying, too, because I just watched Dreamcatcher, like, the other day. If you haven't seen it yet, I highly suggest you watch it. It's on Netflix, and it's the craziest freaking alien movie ever. One of them. As far as things getting pregnant and then things coming out of things and alien invasions. But, um, I'm just remembering that scene. It's not a spoiler or anything whatsoever, but when one of them gets a hold of a dog and uses the dog for gestation, nice little warm oven cooker. But those all just come out doing their own thing like the face huggers depend on what they knock up they they manipulate and like tie in with the genes oh like the predalien when an alien gets impregnates a, a, a predator oh snap where's our buddy oh no i wasn't paying attention oh my god reaper baby was born but where but where is my child oh my god that freaking raptor that was so long ago it actually took a while to oh my god i'm the worst mother ever Yeesh, good thing there's no child services in Aberration. I'm sure a lot of things here realistically would eat their young, in fact. Yeah, a lot of things here definitely would eat their young. Absolutely. 
I'm gonna eat my little bastard when I find him. You, you're a raptor. Man, maybe he's around. Cause the kid, I'm pretty sure, still scatters when you have it. Like it still just disappears completely. Just runs off like the little bastard they are. But where? Stamina. I'm pretty sure we still see. We would definitely still see a little name for it somewhere. Oh yeah, my stamina is killing me right now. That little bastard's somewhere. I just know it. Where's my child? All right, so we'll just go ahead and fall, call this first kid a wash. You know, we all lose a child here and there. <laughs> they are but many. Why do you think we're able to have so many? Nature expects you to lose a few. All right, so we're gonna go back here into a different area. We know we can impregnate raptors, which is insane. Coolest freaking update ever. I had no idea this kind of thing was in planning till like a couple days ago when I got photos of it sent to me and then I was just kind of keeping my eye out for it after that. Ooh, we look like a bumblebee. I kind of just love throwing side in there. It looks so pretty on them. Hang on, what would look crazy on you? This is like the primary color right here. That thing looks venomous as shit. Hang on, let's go down here. Let's go to... Snurf, perfect. All right, well, for starters, who is the prettiest of them all? It's this guy. Now, look at, look at Ronald McDonald the Reaper over here. Jesus Christ. All right, so we know we can impregnate raptors. I I am intrigued if we can impregnate donkeys. I know we can't impregnate stegos. That would just be... Holy crap! I just impregnated a stego. That is bananas right there, dude. No, wait. It, it appear I drank him through my tail. What the shit? No, look at that. Okay, so the stegos... It looks like you try and get it in there. You have to wait 2,000 seconds. Before impregnating again. Wait. Okay, so it did count. The kid's just gone. Rick rolled. All right, so don't impregnate stegos. They run out with your children. They are apparently the crackhead mothers of aberration. Government took my baby. All right, god damn it. We shall go somewhere with kinder parents. Maybe the edge over here. Yes, over here they have really good mothers. I hear definitely quality stock. Where's the father of the situation? It's so weird how this is a really backwards species right here. This is, this is very 2018 actually, very forward. It's the, the queens knock up the kings. And it's not even remotely a little voluntarily. It's not even like with, with no other dinos where you have to go up and you, you mate standing next to each other. It's just like, you, you're coming with me. <laughs> this is very, this is kind of forced rape a little. Can I get you? Oh, you're- a Whoa, Zam, son! That is crazy! Come on! Get in there! Holy crap! I just impregnated a tricycle! That is crazy right there! And then you just pretty much watch out for your- for your husband! This is pretty bananas right here! This is how I feel- this is like a Jerry! R Rick and Morty Jerry! This is how Jerry would enjoy being a father! No, I'm, do I'm like Donkey and Dragon. That's more what's going on here. I've, I've solved it. That's what that was driving me crazy the whole time. Which cartoon couple do we most resemble? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's exactly what's going on. Get away from my baby daddy. Oh my god, can we impregnate a bulldog? That is the big question right there. Talk about reverse couples. Oh, what's going on, little buddy? Little snooker farts. Okay, press N to feed him. That's awesome. Gotta keep your baby well fed. These ones apparently, well, obviously you don't need reaper pheromones. I am a reaper. Do you recognize your mother? I wonder how long it takes him to grow up because he's just like down there. Let me come down to your level, bud. Where is, there he is. Hard to get a little eye on, little bugger. He doesn't run off crazy like other reapers, I guess, because he's just doing his, I guess, I, we're not humans, I suppose. I don't know. He's just kind of chill. It's very good that he's chill. If he just ran off like they normally do, this would be almost impossible. No, it would be pretty much impossible. It'd be like wherever my last kid is. Clearly my last kid was in the vicinity because they don't run very far. I wonder how long it takes. I assume, yeah, once they get to like a slightly more matured stage, then you'd be able to whistle to him and get some control over the little bugger. Oh, now we're cooking. Yeah, look at us. Us and our little son. Oh my God, this is trippy. Come on, you little fart. Obviously right now you don't really take any colors from your mother. I'm sure later on you will though because I'm pretty sure the mod dev is planning on adding some of that stuff. Like that's why you're able to customize your colors so much right now is later on. When you breed with other creatures it'll mix your colors. Look we've got a son. We've got a son. Boy let's make sure he's well fed. Eat all the steaks son. 
Look at my little boy all grown up. He's still so much shorter than me. It's because your dad was a triceratops, you loser. <laughs> Mama, why aren't I as tall as you? Because your daddy was some three horned bastard I picked up outside a bar in Santa Cruz. Alright, come back this way. Let's go see what else we can in Pregnantes. Dude, this is too much power, even for me. Too much power for one man. Where's my son? Am I gonna have to find any Nemo this bad boy right now? I love how you're able to impregnate multiple players or dinos. Um, oh, you're back there. Okay, I, I was like, I, I don't know what just happened, but what the hell? Really should have changed my name to at least Riot's anything except human. I feel like human might spoil the the vibe a little bit to this. <laughs> you're still named here, but idiot. I know you're in there. Well, not really. I, I am the creature, but... Dude, my son is just so much slower. The kings really are nothing compared to the queens. This game is a feminist dream right here. Although, this is typically how many species are. Many species, the female, are far more ferocious and such. As they are the ones who defend the home when dad's out looking for hamburgers. Alright, I'm gonna impregnate that bulb dog right there. And you're just gonna stand there. Oh god, I'm like one of those moms in a horrible drama TV show who does stuff she shouldn't around her children. Oh. Oh my god, you can freaking... Where is it? Is it in there? It kind of was just so small, it was legit in there. I just impregnated a bulldog. What have you done today? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Where is the line between right and wrong anymore? Alright, son. Part of growing up is beating up donkeys. So come here. You need to kick that donkey's ass. Go get it, man. Oh my god, is this guy serious? Not good. Shameful stuff, son. Now you gotta spray it with your weird poopy butt, poopy butt stuff. There you go, he's pretty strong for a level 2. He's not that much of a ninny. Mother-son activity right here. Dad's just a trike. This is like some weird comic show. I have an adult out there too. I have a child out there somewhere in this vast universe. Doing child stuff. Everyone get away from my bulb dog. When that baby comes out, he's a legacy, damn it. Oh my god, thank god you can see that glow from so far away. I assume they're all just the same no matter what. No matter what creature you impregnate, I think they'll just come out at level 1 as well. I wonder if that'll change down the line, because otherwise, because you, that's, you know, you'd look for the most powerful creature to impregnate. Oh, this one was born level 4? Yeah, I think they do just come in with the level. Oh, you can eat them right after! And then feed them their father. Oh, that is hardcore, son. This creature's is brutal. Where'd our other child go? There he is. You slacker. Oh, what's going on, little buddy? Alright, let's just see how Reaper Queen we really are. Let's head on into the no-no zone with our little family right here. This will be such a trip to see. Oh, he's so little. He's just such a little scamper fart. You're pretty little too, bud. You're both kind of very short. And you stay here. Let's go check on our little buddy. Yeah, for those of you wondering why I'm not super jumping, the Reaper Queen can't super jump. She can just go underground. That's... That's her main squirrel. Come on, little guy. You gotta get around the rock. You were not fit for survival, little one. Well, it's about damn time he joins us. It looks like the level is dependent on the creature you impregnate too, which is freaking perfect. We might just have to abandon the little one right here. Like, otherwise he's gonna completely halt our adventure like crazy. This one's not gonna make it either. You know what? I'm just gonna leave you kids back at home in the nest. Bringing you doesn't make much sense anyways. You're not- Oh my god, can we impregnate a rock drake? That, that's- That's the question on my mind now. There's no way we can't impregnate a ravager, but can we impregnate a rock drake? That's- That's the question to end all questions. 50 bucks says we still take, uh, radiation damage though. Because this is a brand new update, so it's probably not perfected just yet. Not really perfected, Schlag, I'm assuming. But, um... I want to see if I can impregnate a rock drake. That's really all I need to do with my life right now. Oh my god, can we impregnate a carcanos? Too much responsibility for one man. Can we impregnate a reaper queen? Dude, this makes it way more fun to be honest. Because usually you're strolling around and you're like, Alright, I'm a freaking female raptor. I gotta find a male raptor. And then we're gonna make little raptor babies. That's like, you got, and then you gotta find a nice male raptor who's <laughs> nice to his mom. Makes an honest living, you know. Um, does it... Touch himself too often, but um, or not too little. Um, but then 
with this, you just pretty much gotta just, you know, like, all right, where, what, what fits? Do you fit? If it fits, I sits. Come here, buddy. Does it fits? Oh my god, in eight seconds, you are so about to feel the, the firm thrusting love of my queen. Oh my god, prepare for the queen. Yeah. Oh, you got lucky, son. You just missed this. Oh my god, you just missed a lot of alimony checks is what you missed. You got lucky. That one would be weird. Our genitalia is definitely very different. Worlds apart, some might say. I swear to god, if this guy just kills me while I'm trying to, you know, do the do. Love me! What did I just grab? Oh, nothing. This is when you gotta really be careful, too. You try and knock up a winner, you accidentally grab... Who did I just impregnate? Tell me I didn't just impregnate a freaking firefly. Oh, a frog, a frog, are you serious? Why is his thing blue? Why is this blue instead of pink like before? He's definitely eroding some kind of stake. You are useless in all this. Cannot impregnate a rock trait. Look, he's got some sort of crazy blueness around him. That's, that's my man right there. That's, that, that's, that's my, my, my dude. What the hell do you call him? Well, I'm absolutely not saying boyfriend. I never say there was any sort of loyalty going on here. Dude, we look so pretty when we're this color. God, I mean, when we're this color down here. So this is crazy. You now get to choose what you want to knock up. Take, pick, pick up a dozen right there. I'd say it drops off probably. Yeah, it stops at trike. So anything bigger than a trike is a no-go. Anything around a stego size is too big. Anything below her is wide open. I even knocked up a bulldog, which just sounds cruel. Like, what the hell? It's like an elephant knocking up a meerkat. There'd be some implosion. All right, time to show you guys the queen. King, damn it, King, Johnny King. All right, let's make you look a little more masculine, buddy. Ooh, wolf fur. I mean, that looks cool on a halo armor set. That would look dope, but I like us to be like bright and vibrant because we're never bright and vibrant. Is there a pink option on here? Uh-oh, there's not a pink option on here. I was gonna say, don't let the feminists see that, but then it, isn't it sexist to claim that a color belongs to a specific gender? It's so hard, but we have light red. Hang on, dino light red. You know what? That's pretty goddamn pink. I'll say it. Yeah, look at us. Big pink bastard. And then let's throw some yellow. No, 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 no. What goes good with pink? Ugh. Pick something you can find in a doctor's office. Oh, wait. I went to go in. I would have shizen. I wanted to go in as a kid. Hang on. That was the whole point was to go in as a child. That's embarrassing. Aren't I cute? All right. So here we are. You get to play as a baby king as well, which is just the cutest thing ever. Literally fresh out of... Um, I suppose fresh out of larva form. Pretty darn cute and cute too. So you get to super jump, which is just freaking hilarious when you're a little jumping bean. Hang on, is that all we're getting? Oh my god, look at that. That is just the most weirdest little thing ever when you just, <laughs> when you're the baby. But it was definitely needed. There'd be literally no other way of getting around anywhere. Unless you were, unless you had this kind of super jump. You would just die instantly. Anybody who's ever played any of the play as dino stuff, you know. If you started as a kid, you have about 30, 40 seconds of fun gameplay before you'd starve to death and die. Or get eaten by a squirrel or something little. Like someone's genital crabs that just fell on the floor. Well, this is just the cutest. I do see no growth progression or anything, by the way. So I'm a little concerned, Kiss, that this is how we stay if you come in as a child. So enter at your own risk. I mean, this is fun and all, but walking around impregnating dinos, that's... That's what it's all about. Oh my god, we're jesus -ing hardcore right now. I ate Jesus, so I absorbed his powers. Those little Jesus crackers, that's what they're for, isn't it? Alright, so hope you guys enjoyed this epic update for Play as Dino. I know I sure as hell did. Sorry for no, um, uh, pfft, pfft, uh, Anunnaki today. Sorry, for a little, I had to remember what I was talking about. But there will be epic Anunnaki tomorrow. I have a video idea that I've had in my head for a bit now, a couple days. But I had to do this because I heard about it and it seemed amazing. Finally, I figured out how to turn around. Oh my god. So yeah, let me know just by leaving the, or liking the video or down in the comment section letting me know if you guys will be down for something like this with subscribers because I think it sounds so much fun. It would be on a Sunday around like 10 a.m. Just specific time for those of you guys wondering when it would go down and I would announce it like days before on my Twitter. Actually, I'd announce it like a, 
honestly like the morning of on my Twitter just because there's like three youtubers whenever I do something they always do it the exact day or like the day after even if it's nothing brand new it's clearly something I thought of they still do it I mean this is brand new but not when I do the PvP thing it won't it'll be like a week old or something so yeah leave a like subscribe and I'll see you next time peace it's time to get in here.